Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Talking outdoors every Saturday morning. Uh, This is our 958th show. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, We've been doing this a long time here on WMC. Uh, got a great producer, I will say that, for he's a busy man. His twins are cute as everything. He's got a side job, but Greg Ratliff, I appreciate what you do here. This is going to be, uh, and Frank Barton, I'm glad to have you here too. I almost lost it uh, there on Frank. Um, appreciate you, Frank. Thank you, Larry. There you go. I just got to make sure his voice is in every segment so they'll know that he is here. But uh Hey, this is something I wanted to do a long time. You know, we're really close to the TWRA on this show and have been for many, many years, not only Dave Gabbert, but uh, uh, I've seen some of these guys grow up uh, since I became outdoor editor of the Commercial Appeal back in 1988. So I've uh, been doing it a long time, 50 years in Memphis writing. I wanted to do a show that kind of features some of these guys that are out in the field. Everybody thinks they work 8 to 9, uh, you know, and then get off and then they go drive around and give tickets and go back home and, and do all these different kind of things. But I wanted to get the spill on some of our local guys. And so we have uh, set up here. Uh, we have three officers in here. Then we got their boss, and he is uh, a lieutenant. And these guys, we haven't determined exactly what their rank is, but uh, we'll find out. Let's go around the room and tell you. Uh, tell who's in the room with us this morning. And uh, so, Andy Tweed, you start off and tell us who you are and how long you've been with the TWRA and what your responsibilities are. All right, got it. My name's Andy Tweed. I'm a wildlife officer here assigned to Shelby County and work for the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. I've been here for 23 years, and the job responsibility has not only increased, but it's probably one of the most diverse, dichotomous jobs you can get. You go from hunter education to saving people from floods to you name it, we do it. It's in all facets of law enforcement, public education, public outreach. It, it's amazing. The, the and you just lost half your audience with that dichotomous. So what, what was that? What was that it's word called again? Dichotomous. It was something okay, we had that's to use really in good. college. I'm, I'm impressed on that. So uh, that's the only thing I remember from college. That's a, <laughs> well, you did go. Thank you, Andy. We're gonna come back to you. And who's the next fellow next to you? My name is Jeff Peach. Uh, I'm another wildlife officer here in uh, Shelby County. Work with Andy a lot. Uh, I've been working for, uh, this is my 10th year. Uh, wow. That, that doesn't seem possible, does it? It doesn't. Uh, no. I remember the first time I uh, come on this show was probably nine years ago with uh, my ex-boss, Ronnie Shannon. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all were both in here, and we, we talked about everything, including food and not a lot of other things. But uh uh, and you are from where, Jeff? I'm from a little town uh, about 30 miles south of Nashville called College Grove. Okay. All right. All right, let's switch it on around to the next guy there. My name's Tim Ward. I'm assigned to Lauderdale County. I'm originally from Robbinsville, North Carolina. And, and you've been, been working yeah. six years. Six years with age. Have you been in Lauderdale County all that time? Been in Lauderdale all six years. All six years, based out of Ripley, I assume. Is that uh, what we would say? And who's the tall guy behind you back there? Put uh, put the microphone up for this guy. Yes, sir. I am. My name is Wade Hendren. I have been working for the TWRA for about twenty four and a half years now. And so you're from where? Wade? I'm from Lauderdale County originally. I have been there my whole career. The whole career. I was and you- an officer there for about. Uh, 17 years and then i fulfilled a sergeant's position and now into the uh existing i'm um, lieutenant now you're a so, lieutenant now yeah i'd like for andy to spell dichotomous no I'm, no, I'm no we don't have that. time we, he, we don't aren't he, you proud of him that he, he would lost do? absolutely lost me yeah. when he said that well I'm the like, truck driver going down the i-55 uh, this morning just said what did you say there's a is, lot of people on their a, phones right now trying to google that y- word to yeah yeah what it means and yeah how to well spell it. Well, we the ten second rule almost got me, but yeah. I didn't. I did not do it. And uh, well, but wait. Uh, and we'll talk a lot uh, during the two segments uh, 
We'll talk a little, a little bit on the next segment about uh, your love of crappie fishing. Yes. So you're not going to get away without talking about crappie fishing. I, I, I love it, and I love to talk about it. So we're going to talk about treat. that. Let's talk to you guys. I'm going to answer each one. I put it back to Andy right there. Andy, uh, is this uh, – where, where are you from? Believe it or not, I am originally from Memphis. Now, you talk about dichotomous. All right. We've already used that word right. way going, too many right, times how about amphibious? on this. How about amphibious? I, I handle that okay, one. All right, okay, I'm pretty amphibious. All right, I was born in Memphis, was here till I was five or six, uh-huh. moved to Johnson City, Tennessee, uh-huh. uh, stayed there till I graduated high school, and you t- went to UT Martin after that mm-hmm. and stayed there for about eight years to get my four-year degree. <laughs> and <laughs> a dichotomous. It, it pretty dichotomous <laughs> and expensive. Anyway, once I left Martin, got hired on with TWRA and came back to Memphis. And you've been here I've ever been since. here the whole time. been here 23 years. Well, talk about uh, being a wildlife officer in your hometown. You don't, you know, don't really, you were five, so you don't really remember. But uh, why would anybody want to stay here for 23 years? I've been asking myself that same question. Every morning <laughs> I get up and I look in the mirror and I ask myself that question. But it, you you have become, I mean, you're you're the spokesman. I mean, when the That's boats true. boats go under, yep. or they catch a manatee swimming up the river, so... Uh, Talk about being the officer in in in, in Memphis. It's it's a because you're it's, you're you guys have different districts. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. uh, Andy, your district in Shelby County is. I'm just I'm all over the county. Uh, is that right with Jeff? Jeff, are you the same way? Yeah. Okay, we used to used years, to years ago little, we were broken up. You, you were, were south, broken up, south, and you did middle, south, and north. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell tell about being a wildlife officer in in, in this area. It's pretty bizarre, but it is it is a lot. In of fun. what way? It. Well, just like you talked about, all right, manatees. Who yeah. in the world would have thought we would have had a manatee in the Wolf River Harbor? Yeah, you know, but we did. They're pretty endemic to the to the Florida endemic. Co- this guy Florida is coastline. on a roll, buddy. I, I am so impressed. <laughs> He's going to be on vacation after this show. You got so it. He I'm is, headed to the coast to yeah. see if I can find that manatee. Well, well it's the, bothered me. What was that word you just used? Then <laughs> endemic. Endemic. Okay, wait. Write that down again. Okay, <laughs> Google that. But uh, no, and and, and Jeff. Uh, Jump in on this conversation because I'm getting away from a demic. You know, I'm not, not, <laughs> give the mic to Jeff there. All right, uh, Jeff, Jeff. Ten years here, Jeff. Talk about uh, when you started. Uh, I, everybody gets a chance. If I'm not mistaken, and Wade may jump in this, you guys, you you want to work, but do, do you have the option of where you're going? Uh, uh, let's let's talk about that, Jeff. When you got the job, the vacancy was here, I assume. Well, when. Uh I graduated from Martin in 2006. Is it, is it a policy be that everybody that graduates from Martin becomes a wildlife officer? Yes, you have yeah. to go to Martin. You <laughs> okay. Can't go okay. All right. They were but, the uh, they were the Pacers, and now there's something else. Anyway, All right. I was uh, I started working as a uh, wildlife technician. Okay. On WMA outside of Nashville. Uh-huh. And, uh Anyway, uh, after, that was home. That was yeah, close to your home. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. after the interview, or after the wildlife officer interviews. Uh, were done they had hired for you know all they were going to hire for that year uh uh-huh. well about a, a week or two later after the interviews they called me because i was the next in line on the uh, roster yeah and they said uh shelby county just come open do you want it and i thought to myself i was like i'm no i'm not going to shelby <laughs> county ever <laughs> So I turned it down and kept working as a technician. You turned it down the first turned time. It down. Okay. Well, the next year, come around 2007 interviews, I interviewed again, or I interviewed for a wildlife officer. And uh, after uh, after that day, uh, the guy from HR called me that night about uh, eight o'clock. Yeah. He said you did a great job on the interview. Uh, everybody would like to, uh, the state would like to offer you Shelby County. <laughs> There it comes again. I said, well, sign me up. That's where I'm going. <laughs> so, so it was meant to be then. It was meant to be. So uh, Two chances. And so, so, uh, so here I am. So talk about being here I am. I mean, uh, the, the you guys are, are here. Uh, you, you're not connected at the hip, so to speak. Here but, we uh, well, no, well, there is another guy. Ray McMillan is here, you know, part of the team, too. But uh, you guys have to work together. Can I, one of the first cases, I thought you'd get back into you got another I, word you want to use, I got, don't you? I've got another word. He's got three of them. That's He's right. got to write them down. Wait. All right. <laughs> one of the first cases that Jeff and I worked together when he got here, he was brand spanking new, yeah. maybe three or four days into the deal. But we had a guy that was trapping. He was trapping raccoons and bobcats uh-huh. and whatnot. And he was down in a ditch in the Lusahatchee River bottom. 
and he was running his trap lines, and he had a raccoon that was hung in there, and he was trying to get it out, and it was screaming. Well, a young fellow, I guess he was in high school, had been deer hunting in the same area, heard, heard the noise, and shot down into the ditch, ended up hitting the trapper, and the, and the bullet just grazed his shoulder and bounced back out. So now we've got to go to the crime, quote, the crime scene, take pictures. And this is his first this real. This is his first deal. He hadn't been here two or three days. And he's thinking, what in the world? Now we've got to go to the hospital and interview that guy. And, you know, we had to do a hunting accident report, and it was pretty pretty involved. Well, yeah. But yeah. luckily the guy was just a, a glancing blow, and it didn't, you know, harm the guy. What happened to the trapper? Well, the trapper, he went to the hospital. Yeah, so what happened to him after that? Uh, I don't know. He, uh, I'm actually good friends with him now. Actually. <laughs> oh, now come know. on. Come on, Jay. Anyway, he, uh, he's, uh, he's actually the president over the West Tennessee Fur Buyers Association. Oh, okay. So anyway, I, I deal with him a lot, tag a lot of otters and bobcats for him. So you struck up a conversation with him after got to know him in the hospital yeah. and all these things, and he was just down there doing his what he wants to do. Right. But this other guy is shooting uh, at a <laughs> at an op. He was out of season, I'm assuming too. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was just doing that. Now you're friends with him. <laughs> it's just uh, so. Uh, uh, after ten years, have you learned a lot about uh, being here? I have. I've. Uh, I hate to say this, but I have learned a lot from Andy here. Uh, what do you hate to say that for? Andy's been here 23 yeah. years. I mean, you know, I don't know how long Ray has been here. Uh, He's been here about Ray, eight, Ray, seven or eight. Ray come in a year. He transferred from Hardeman County. He come in a year after I was He here. left Hardeman County for Shelby? He did. he did. Bless his heart. Well, we appreciate him stopping by <laughs> yeah. and, and, and doing that with us. We're visiting with uh, TWA law enforcement officers Andy Tweed, Jeff Peach, and we're going to get to Tim Ward here on our next segment and bring in his the boss over there, the lieutenant himself, uh, I always have trouble with uh, Brian Thompson calling him major. You know, I mean, you know, I just yeah. I want I I think about uh, 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 Lieutenant Schultz on uh, on Hogan's Heroes. You know, I think that Schultz is going to show up or something like that. All right, let's take a break. Frank Frank Barton, you got anything to add to this segment before we leave? You... I enjoy listening to the guys. Okay, we're going to have some more fun on this, but we're going to talk the serious side because these guys uh, they carry a, they got they're they're armed. Uh, in here this morning, and they are just as same as a policeman, a state trooper, anything like that, except these guys, everybody they deal with usually has a firearm with them or something. So we're going to come right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. ESPN 790 on this uh, September the 16th. You can find out. 